So hello everybody, how are you today? In today's video, I am going to show you how you can insert rows or a table in Power Query without having to create an auxiliary table and append. Okay? So let's do it. We are here on Power BI. This is the Northwind dataset that we always use. Free to download, the link down below if you want to check it out. Now, you're going to get this file for download, so don't worry. So we're going to go here to Home, Edit Queries, and what we're going to do is we're going to, on this product table, we have a list of products. If you remember last Friday, that Friday's video, we wanted to create a table that had also a category other at the end. So this is what we're going to do in Power Query. So the first thing we're going to do is to add this as a new query. So we get all the values from there. We're going to decide, I know they don't have a duplicates, but just in case. So uh, remove duplicates, convert it to list. And uh, let's give it a name, product name two. Great name, Ruth. Okay, so this is text. And normally, if you would like to add a row to a table in Power Query, you would probably go enter data, create a new table, and do a append, which you can do, but this is faster. Let me show you. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the Advanced Editor, and in the Advanced Editor, we're going to create a new line at the end. So, comma, enter, and we're going to call the variable new rows. And there is a M function called uh, maybe insert rows, table dot insert rows. Now we are going to refer to the previous step. So we are telling this function go and grab whatever was on the on the previous step, which is the column with product name. So change type. The next, let me show you how the function looks. I haven't shown it yet. So if you go to the Power Query documentation, you'll see that the function goes like this, table insert rows, table as table, which is the previous row, the, the previous step, then offset as a number that tells you, allows you to place the row in whatever you want in the list. So at the end, row number two, row number five, whatever. And then here you put the number of rows that you want to have, okay? So it's as simple as that. So let's do that. So we go in here, uh, change type, we're going to put it on row three. So I have to write to two because Power Query starts with zero. And now we're going to have this curly bracket and there, and then we're going to call our product name two, which is the name of the column. And we're going to say add a column called other. And then here we're going to refer to the new created variable. And we are good to go. It's as easy as that. And if everything goes well, you'll see on row number three, you remember it starts from zero, so not row number three, the line that it says other. How cool is that? Now, can you insert two rows. Yes, you can. The only thing you need to do is you go here, comma, brackets, again, product, product name two equal other, how about two? <laughs> that would be nice. And then we'll put it under. Okay. And now you probably are going to ask me, okay, Ruth, what happens if I have two columns instead of one? Okay, how about we go back and we do that. We go back here, we add a index column, just so we can add a column very, very quickly. There it is, index, rename columns, change type, and now we wanna have, let it finish. So on, it's probably telling us that, well, how about we go and check what is telling us Power Query? Tell me, what's the error? But it's probably telling me 
Exactly, that index wasn't found. He's trying to find an index row in there and he didn't find it. So how about we help him out? So we right here at comma, index equal, and then I don't know, the index will be 1.5. <laughs> and then we have to put the index on the other one too. You can leave it empty if you want, but let's give it a value, 1.7. And that will create the column other 1.5, other two 1.7, and we are good to go. You can insert as many rows and columns and stuff as you want, need, and your heart desires. So how about that? So this is all for today. I hope you find this useful. So there's no reason to do it in DAX, do it in Power Query, easier. And I will see you again on Wednesday. So if you are having if you're already on vacation, have a great vacation. And either way, I will see you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.